<clears throat> What's up, long hairs? Sergio here, aka El Sergioso. You might recognize me from the previous video, the first video that I did with long hairs, Master Your Thick Curly Hair. Now, I'm no stranger to thick curly hair. I've had long hair since 2003. That's almost 20 years. In this video, we are going to get into the weeds of brushing the curls. It's with the fingers, okay? You gotta be gentle, it's a gentle process because you don't wanna rip your hair out. We need every single strand and every single curve, you know what I mean? I'm gonna teach you all, the whole process. You wet the hair, what you do with the shampoo, you thoroughly rinse, and then loads of conditioner. Every single centimeter needs to be accounted for. Once you get the conditioner, then I'm gonna teach you how to gently finger brush, then properly rinse, then the drying process. But first, just a little bit of energy. Let's go. Alright, let's get into this. Okay guys, always step one, water on the curls. The curls love water. Okay? Make sure you get all of the curls. Thorough rinse right here, okay. Now we get none other than the epic cleanse, okay? Clean curls gets the girls, remember that. Now here you can see a healthy portion for healthy curls. All right, now equally, just palm it, bam, bam. I like this because it doesn't run. A lot of shampoos run, this is not running away. It knows the importance of needing to be on the curls. Here's a little signature move here, little bun. I do this because it helps get the shampoo and the scalp as well. It's very important to get every single inch of your curls to work together. Come off. <laughs> Don't do that at home, kids. These need to come off. As cool as you think you are, the glasses don't work in the shower. All right, lather, 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 work it, work it, work it, okay? Very important to get every single centimeter from the scalp to the ends of the curls. Okay, here, it's like washing a car, you know? You gotta wash every portion of the car. You don't want a huge dirty spot. So this is just me stripping all the dirt and all the oil. Make sure you get the back of the head, the side of the head here. There you go. And then we're going to do a shot from the back here to show you how I just keep working it in. Now, you see my fingertips are on the scalp. I'm cleaning the scalp. It's very important to get every, every single... Curls work together, guys. They're a team. Team players here. Just like that, just like that. Boom. Now, thorough rinse. Why is it important to have a thorough rinse? Because shampoo and conditioner don't really mix well, guys. Okay, so you got to get all of it out. You'll see here, I'm gonna squeegee it out a little bit. Make sure I get enough water on there. So I get the back of the neck here. I'm a lot of water, so it's the back of the hairline is important to get it all out. There you go, a little squeegee. Now, the ideal conditions. So you can see, definitely not shy here as well. I'm not trying to be funny here, guys, but this is, I have 19 inch hair. So whether you have 6 inches or 19 inches, use appropriately, okay? I'm just using it for the, the length I have. Now again, even on the palms, pretty much the same thing with the shampoo, guys. Start with the scalp, kind of dab it on the front of the hairline, going to the back. Then, there's my little signature move there, bun on top of the head, because you want it from the scalp to the ends. I got everything right here in this little move. With curly hair, it's important to have a full condition head of curls, okay? Now you can see this move. This is where I start to do the finger brush, right? Brushing isn't good, but the finger brush, yes, that's A-OK, -okay, guys. You can see the left hand is holding it at the base here, at the top of my head. Now when you see, you can see here that when I get a little snag, I'm not ripping it out. Gently with the fingers, spread the fingers apart, and it, curls cooperate, you know? A lot of guys will be way too aggressive just ripping out. No, man, we want to save the curls, you know? See, look at that. Nice and gentle, guys. Nice and gentle. Curly hair can be a pain sometimes because it's just, you know, curls just tangle with each other. 
they do the tango to tangle. So there you go. Still just gently. Now, you're going to get these guys. It's inevitable. You know, in this case, you just got to, it's, it's a dog fight. You just got to rip them apart. Bam. Sorry. Bye-bye. Now, don't be afraid of this. We lose hair, guys. Everybody does. But being that we got the long curly locks, they just, it just looks uh, more than it is, okay? So don't be afraid. Now you can see here, I get in a little ball, and I'm just kind of getting the residual hairs off my skin. You can see that move right there. It's important. The cleanup is important because it's going to save you a lot of time. You don't want it all in the drain. There you go. Look at that. You can just now toss it in the trash. Easy peasy. Don't be scared of that, man. That's a beautiful thing. It means you have long hair. Hair to lose. It's okay. Now the wide tooth comb here. Again, a lot of people say, don't brush it, but it's okay. The dirty work has already been done. I'm just getting the smaller snags out because smaller snags can turn into bigger ones. Yeah, a lot of people say brushing wet hair, no bueno, but hey, you got the green light from me, 20 year veteran, easy peasy, look at this, gentle, I'm not ripping my <laughs> curls out of my head, you know? Curls are your friend. All right, now a thorough rinse again. Always be thorough with everything you're doing with curly hair, guys. Whether you're applying or getting all all out, it's everything's thorough. See here, a little squeegee. Look at that! Wow, the epic cleanse in ideal conditions really did work to my hair. Good work, guys. All right, you can see here. I'm just getting all the water out, wringing it out. I always do two quick rings. I had a lot of water, so I just do another quick one here. And the towel will get the rest. All right, towel time. Little wrap around the back of the head. Now I always visualize here. We're just gonna kind of turn it into a little candy cane, you know, a little little spiral get every single inch it's important to have the curls dry together the curls that dry together stay together firm squeeze nice little just extra look at that look at that wow awesome now the moose stage I'm just gonna think out loud here okay there's no script but I'm going to show you what 20 years of applying mousse to long curly hair. These are my thoughts. This is how I get the long luscious curls to come out. So, little shake it up, baby. Okay. Now, it's always going to be even, okay? Now, just how when I do the shampoo and conditioner, I always start at the hairline. Always, always at the hairline. So right now I just visualized your hair is in sections. You kind of have this section here, okay? You have your middle section, and then you have like the back of your head, and then you have the length of the hair. So, you can apply another. And I pretty much apply the same amount every single time, as you can see. I don't skimp out or I don't over pour. Now I visualize, okay, I already got the hairline pretty much from my sideburns to the first couple inches of my hairline. Now it's just visualizing, okay, what parts did I miss? Layer after layer. Now I'll just kind of move along here. Okay, now the top of my head to like the sides of my head. Very equal and, and as you can see, I'm just kind of a lot of people will just do, put the mousse on the surface. What I'm doing is I'm really getting in there and applying it to every portion, every centimeter of those locks. Now I've got the top of the head, so now you got to visualize. Next step is actually kind of, how do you call this? The part where men usually start to bald. <laughs> okay. Now, I'll kind of get the back of the head. Okay, so now I already got about this portion. Now you gotta 
Now it's going to be about this portion here. So from the ear all the way around. It may not look that way, but that's what I'm visualizing. Okay, and again, and this is where the hair starts to get really thick. So, so it's okay to kind of do this section twice, so to speak. Okay. Back of the head, kind of towards where the ear is. Squeeze it in there. Okay, now this is where I flip over and I work from the other side and then we meet in the middle. So now, as you can see, look, the hair is looking like a little bit dry, but we're gonna fix that. So now I start from the opposite hairline and I'm gonna move a little quick here just because it's the same basic principles of application. So again, I'm visualizing just section by section. And then once I get to, once I know, if I grab it from basically like the base, I already know that from my fingers, all, all this is already taken care of. Now I got the pony, I got the long mane I gotta deal with. So now, what I'll do is I'll start from where I was grabbing it. Okay, and just kind of lather it up in there. Now this is the trick. Most people would just apply the mousse to the outside. They'll take more and they'll just do this. Now what about those curls in there? Look, they want to stay like that, right? But if I just get the outside, these curls are going to turn into, you know, frizz. So check this out. Kind of like in Armageddon when they're talking about blowing up this meteor. They talk about putting the firecracker in the hand. That's what's going to blow it up. That's kind of what I learned it from, honestly. So, literally, check this out. I shove it in there and just douse it from the inside. I don't even start from the outside. Look at that. Just little explosions from the inside and then check this out and then it just automatically with the water the water and the mousse together that's what's going to help bring those curls look at this that's perfect and you want that at the ends you want a little extra at the ends so now i know that the mousse has been applied from the inside out as you can see i squeeze See, it's, it's just naturally applying to the outsides as well. The water and the mousse. And that's what's gonna bring the curls together. The curls get happy. And then, and then, you know, I just kind of feel around it. If the place feels dry, it's okay. Just add a little extra to the, to the frizz. And then always, I will do side to side. So a lot of times we kind of miss this inside section because when you wear it down, it's a section that you don't ever see. But if your hair blows in the wind, you don't want to see that frizz when your hair blows. You want to see the, the sides of your curls come out too. So I kind of come from this side, switch over, and this is the last bit of it. And once you're done with this, get ready for the million compliments on that long, luscious, curly-haired mane that you There you have it, folks. Once this dries, women are gonna ask you how you got your hair so pretty. Now, what the mousse does, it mixes with the water to make the curls come together in thick chunks. And that's what people just visually love. They love the thick strands. And that's what we're going for with the relationship between the water and the mousse.
If you liked this video, which I'm sure you did, you learned a lot, man. Smash that like, hit the subscribe, and you can find me on Instagram, Sergio's Art and Music, but also check out some cool art too. I'm an artist, sergiosfineart.com, super easy to remember, check that out. And be sure to visit thelonghairs.us, they got tons of amazing products, some sick new hair ties, you know, and they got what you just saw, the Epic Cleanse Shampoo, the Ideal Conditioning, which I, first time using the product, I'm sold, man. So, thank you guys so much. El Sergio, so signing out. Till next time, see ya!